company. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to connect the circuit uh, to the ventilator. All I did up front was I turned it on. Again, it's gonna to go to this uh, uh, screen check, which is totally normal. Your button's lit up, uh, that's totally normal. Um, while that is warming up, I want you to notice a couple pieces that uh, uh, we're gonna to have to have um, for this. We need two uh, white uh, HEPA filters that'll go in line. I'll show you where those go. Um, you need a circuit, uh, a circuit, and then what will come separately is your uh, flow sensor. And this is blue uh, cap, um, and it comes down and it has two uh, sense lines. Uh, and one of them is white and one of them is blue, and I'll show you how those go and where they're attached here uh, in just a minute. Um, when the ventilator comes up, it's going to go into, this is the, the standby screen uh, that it's going to go into. Uh, when you are setting your ventilator up, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to take your HEPA filters. These only go one way. So one goes here on your inhalation valve and one goes on your exhalation valve. This provides the patient from anything coming out of the machine um, and this will provide protection uh, for anything that the patient's exhaling um, to the crew. Um, one other thing I did forget to mention is you also need this. This comes with your circuit um, and you'll see why this is important uh, and should remain with your circuit uh, at all times um, even after it passes the, uh, the uh, test. So then you come over here and you attach your, your coax cables. Pretty simple, just plugs in like so. Uh, your white goes to the white and your blue sense line uh, goes to the blue. So again, two filters, the vent connects right into those filters. Um, you have your uh, flow sensor, the blue goes to blue, the white goes to white, okay? And remember, the yellow is just for nebulization. That's where we attach our nebulizer. So as we come around the front of the ventilator, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna attach this guy, um, and you'll see why here in a minute. <clears throat> so we're gonna come down here and we're gonna go to pre-op checks. When you go to pre-op checks, you have uh, three options. You have your tightness option, you have your flow sensor option, and your O2 cell. The only thing that we need to worry about is the tightness and the flow sensor option. That's the only thing that we're worried about um, when we're doing our, our uh, test. So um, when we do our tightness test, it's gonna tell you to disconnect your patient, and it's gonna tell you to tighten the system. And basically, with your gloved hand, you're gonna occlude the, uh, the patient uh, side of the ventilator, and all you're trying to do, what that's doing, is just telling this ventilator it's gonna pressure, you're gonna hear it put pressure into the circuit, and it's gonna tell the ventilator that it is um, uh, working correctly, it's just doing a pressure test. And as you see, it gave us a green check, and that's indicating that we passed our pressure test, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a flow sensor test. So it's gonna tell us to disconnect our patient, which we did. We're gonna turn our flow sensor, like that. This takes a minute. And what will happen is when it tells you to turn your flow sensor, um, you have to uh, do it in a timely fashion. If you don't, it's going to fail, and all you would have to do is just redo the, redo the test. Um, this does take a minute. And remember, that's why we had to use this, uh, that white plastic piece. We can't turn this without, we can't turn the flow sensor without having this. So you hear the ventilator ramp up. Um, it's going to tell you to turn your flow sensor again. You take the white piece out. And again, it'll pressure through and it'll, it'll, it'll check your flow here in a minute. It'll pressure back up. Um, and again, to turn it the first time, you have to have this white port. To turn it the second time, uh, you do not have to have the white port. And it's pressuring up right now. And we're done. So I'd like to run through that one more time because I think uh, you know this can be a little bit confusing. So all you do is you take this white connector and on the fat portion of the flow sensor, you connect that white sensor right into there, okay? Come over here. It's gonna tell you to disconnect your patient. We've already done so. It's gonna tell you to turn your flow sensor. Turn that white to the white. You wait a minute, it's gonna start giving you flow. You'll hear the ventilator eventually ramp up and again, all that this is doing is checking the flow integrity through these sense lines and through the ventilator circuit. Um, this can take a minute or so until it uh, gets, gets through the process. This is something that needs to be done on every patient. Uh, I know um, there's been some uh, talk that this, you can use the ventilator um, without doing this, but it's a bad idea um, because it keeps a record. If it hasn't been done, if there's something the matter with the vent, um, you're going to be in trouble. 
So now what you do is you take that white piece off, you turn it back the opposite direction, putting the skinny end into the into the white portion, and it's going to run your your uh, finish your circuit leak test. Oh, I'm sorry, your flow sensor test. This needs to be completed before the ventilator is used on any patient. Um, and we're going to make a suggestion, uh, and I don't know if this is going to go, but we're going to have, uh, like if Heather and I go use this ventilator today, when we come back, we're going to pre-set up this circuit and we're going to do the flow sensor test for the next crew. We're going to cover the end of the circuit with a bag um, and uh, make sure that, uh, you know, some uh, cleanness is never sterile, but some cleanness is maintained, uh, particularly for the end of this uh, device. Um, and you can put a cap in there and uh, you're actually ready to go. Um, this can be used on the patient. That way, uh, when you go to uh, set up your ventilator at the bedside, you don't want to have to go through all these checks because they're already done. What you can do with this is you can attach this to your circuit, and that way it's with you. That way, if you would have any issues with your ventilator during the flight, um, you can just recalibrate and do a flow and a leak test to see what the issues are. Okay. okay.